Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, we had covered that how we can create a simple PG agent job using the PG agent jobs tool and we can schedule any job and we can perform any task as per our requirement. Okay, so if you have missed that, you can watch that. I will give the link in this video description. So continuing from that, so let's see in this video how we can create a schedule job that will call a stored procedure okay if you remember we had created a table called these jobs and we were putting the current timestamp into that table so if i show you so and we had scheduled this for to execute in every minute okay so if you see every minute it is putting one record into this okay so and also i had in another video in the recent video i had explained that why your pages and job is not working if you have missed that one also you can watch that i'll give the link in the video description so uh, let's start this video uh, now i'll create another job let's say job 2 okay and everything's blank and we can add one step quickly say step 2 and for that I need to add the code okay before that uh, I had explained you we need to set select the database carefully by default it is Postgres database but you can select your database okay for me this is Postgres database because the table that uh, I want to perform the insert operation that resides in the Postgres database okay so uh, so here you you have to select as per your requirement on which database you want to perform the operation okay so this much is enough and in schedule we need to create a schedule I can give a name like scheduler2 and in this scheduler2 this is enabled and start date we can put current date okay and end date we can leave as it is okay and repetition we can select as I had explained earlier I will not explain everything so when I click this thing that means I am selecting this repetition for to execute every minute okay so repetition is done and the SQL one moment I need to add the code okay so this is important why it's asking for SQL code because I have given here the kind of uh, job execution is it's SQL okay the SQL code so uh, for that I have already created a stored procedure I don't want to repeat the typing again I'll just show you here okay uh, let's say uh, first I need to create the procedure first okay so let me create the procedure first so this is the procedure sample procedure that I am creating uh, with the name job proc and what it does it simply inserts the inserts one record into this table okay as we are doing uh, with the simple insert statement now we'll do the same thing but through stored procedure okay so now let's create the stored procedure okay it's created we can verify that also in the public schema uh, yeah why I have mentioned here public because I am creating my procedure into the public schema and then procedure okay so here is the procedure I have created now I need to call this procedure okay I don't want to mention this insert statement uh, in the job description job SQL code okay now let's go to properties and steps in the steps okay now I need to what I need to do is I need to call that stored procedure so this way what we do uh, we schedule a stored procedure to be called from a PostgreSQL pages in job okay so I'll just simply do this okay and the semicolon so I'm calling the stored procedure this stored procedure will uh, execute this procedure uh, that the code I have just executed the created the pros procedure okay and th that will insert record into the table okay I'll save this now to recognize that uh, data is being entered 
entered into this table through this procedure not through job one so what i'll do i'll simply disable this one i had already explained these things so i'll not repeat again so now okay uh, for better understanding let me do one thing let me delete it okay so all data are deleted now let's see okay we haven't got any record so i had explained you how we can do that we can execute it ad hoc mode okay i have executed this now now my processor must have called and it's it must have inserted one record into this table so let's see that okay we have got one record and again we can do the same if i run again i'll get another record okay so one record by ad hoc mode it uh, it received and one more through scheduler it received okay so this is how we execute uh, our stored procedure through pieces and job and we can simply we can call other procedure or if you have any parameter you can pass any parameter over there in the job call whatever you are doing or if you have any uh, other kind of requirement that uh, need store procedure to be called through pages and job you can do that okay so in this video i have explained this uh, process and let's meet in the next video with another topic so subscribe my channel to get the notifications and if this video was helpful please do like the video so let's meet uh, in the next video till then take care bye bye